SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket has been temporarily grounded after a significant malfunction during the deorbit phase of the Crew-9 mission, which aimed to rescue astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore from the International Space Station. This incident highlights not only the challenges facing SpaceX but also the complexities of modern space exploration, especially as commercial space travel becomes increasingly critical. With FAA investigating the anomaly and regulatory tensions rising, this situation could reshape the landscape of the aerospace industry. In this video, we'll unpack the details of the Crew-9 mission, explore the nature of the Falcon 9 malfunction, and examine the implications for SpaceX and the future of space travel. The Crew-9 mission, launched by SpaceX, represents a crucial operation in the realm of space travel, aiming to rescue two astronauts stranded aboard the International Space Station ISS. Astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore had been left on the ISS after a malfunction during Boeing's Starliner spacecraft's maiden crewed flight, which failed to return them to Earth. This unexpected turn of events highlighted the inherent risks involved in space exploration, making the Crew-9 mission not just a routine flight, but a vital lifeline for the stranded astronauts. On Saturday, the Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched the Crew Dragon spacecraft into orbit, transporting the astronauts' capsule, which had two empty seats, ready for the return trip. The mission successfully docked at the ISS, ensuring that Williams and Wilmore would be homeward bound soon. This operation was not just a technical achievement, it showcased the collaborative efforts between NASA and SpaceX, underlining the essential role of commercial partners in maintaining human presence in low Earth orbit. The Crew-9 mission was significant for several reasons. First, it demonstrated SpaceX's responsiveness and capability in handling urgent situations. NASA relies heavily on commercial partners like SpaceX to ensure the continuous operation of the ISS, which serves as a laboratory for scientific research and international collaboration. The successful launch and docking of the Crew Dragon capsule reaffirmed SpaceX's position as a leader in the commercial space sector, especially following its contract to provide crew transportation services to the ISS alongside Boeing. This rescue operation was a testament to the technological advancements made by SpaceX in human spaceflight. With the ISS at risk of losing its crew due to the malfunctioning Starliner, the swift action taken by SpaceX was crucial. It ensured that the stranded astronauts would not face an indefinite stay aboard the station, where extended missions could pose risks to their health and well-being. Following the successful launch and docking of the Crew Dragon spacecraft, SpaceX faced a significant hurdle and anomaly during the deorbit phase of the Falcon 9 rocket. The term off nominal deorbit burn refers to a situation where the rocket's second stage booster did not perform its deorbit burn as expected. This event caused the booster to land outside of the designated recovery area, raising alarms within the aerospace community and prompting immediate scrutiny from SpaceX and regulatory authorities. The deorbit burn is a critical maneuver that slows the rocket down enough to safely re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. An unsuccessful burn can lead to catastrophic outcomes, including uncontrolled re-entry, which could result in the destruction of the rocket and potential hazards to populated areas on the ground. Thankfully, in this instance, there were no injuries or property damage reported, but the incident underscored the risks associated with space missions and the importance of stringent safety protocols. This malfunction marked the third grounding of the Falcon 9 rocket within three months, raising significant concerns about the reliability of SpaceX's launch vehicles. In July, a previous mishap during a mission resulted in a batch of Starlink satellites burning up in orbit, marking SpaceX's first mission failure in over seven years. In August, the FAA temporarily grounded the Falcon 9 due to an unsuccessful landing attempt of the booster. These incidents collectively demonstrate the increasing scrutiny SpaceX faces as it continues to expand its operations in the competitive landscape of commercial spaceflight. The recent failures have sparked discussions about the reliability of reusable rocket technology. SpaceX's innovative approach to reusability has revolutionized space travel by significantly reducing costs and increasing the frequency of launches. 
However, with this innovation comes the responsibility to ensure that each flight operates without incident. The grounding of the Falcon 9 raises questions about the robustness of SpaceX's systems and whether enough emphasis is being placed on safety protocols during launches and recoveries. As we look ahead, the implications of the Falcon 9 malfunction extend beyond SpaceX itself. The ongoing challenges the company faces bring to light the need for comprehensive safety standards and effective regulatory oversight in the growing commercial space sector. With various companies vying for a share of the market, maintaining a high level of safety is crucial for the success of individual missions and the long-term viability of commercial space travel as a whole. In the next section, we will explore the regulatory challenges that SpaceX faces and how these issues could shape the future of the aerospace industry. The grounding of the Falcon 9 rocket has sparked a critical examination of the relationship between SpaceX and the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. This conflict is significant as it highlights the balance that must be struck between fostering innovation and ensuring safety in commercial spaceflight. Elon Musk has publicly criticized the FAA, arguing that its stringent regulations could hinder the rapid advancement necessary for space exploration. This tension between regulatory oversight and technological innovation is a key issue facing the aerospace industry today. The FAA's involvement in investigating the recent grounding of the Falcon 9 reflects the importance of safety in aerospace operations. With SpaceX facing its third grounding incident in a short time, the agency's scrutiny emphasizes the necessity of rigorous safety standards. Musk's remarks about the FAA favoring Boeing over SpaceX further complicate the narrative, suggesting that favoritism might exist in regulatory processes. Such sentiments resonate in the aerospace community, where companies are under pressure to push the boundaries of technology while adhering to safety protocols. The FAA's inquiries into SpaceX operations come at a time when the demand for commercial space travel is rising. As more companies enter the sector, the FAA's role as a regulatory body will become increasingly important. Balancing the need for oversight with the urgency of advancing technology is a complex task, and how the FAA navigates this landscape will set precedents for future operations in commercial space travel. The challenges faced by SpaceX and the FAA are indicative of a broader trend in the aerospace industry. As we transition into an era of increased private sector involvement in space exploration, the regulatory landscape must evolve to address the unique challenges posed by rapid technological advancements. Finding common ground between innovators like SpaceX and regulatory bodies will be essential to ensuring the safety and success of future missions. In this video, we have learned about the recent grounding of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket following the Crew-9 mission and the implications it has for commercial space travel. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.